Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Chief, a.k.a. The Chef, a.k.a. Galadon's favorite son, bringing you another episode of Brawl Stars. We're inside of today's video. We're going to be hopping in a big game inside of Brawl Stars using my favorite brawler for picking up some wins. And, guys, there's one brawler that stand above the rest whenever you get into big game, and that has to be Jesse. Jesse is so ridiculously good, not only to be the boss inside a big game, but also to take out the boss. And you can use her to dominate everyone, even after the nerf they gave to her turret. They did make it to now to where when you shoot your own turret, using the star power it only heals at 200 hp but using her shots to ricochet off the different brawlers is the best way to earn uh tokens throughout this mode and the best way to spend your tickets so i'm going to show that to you guys today there are some other pretty solid brawlers inside of this mode you can still use nita who's really good with her panda uh to be able to take people out uh, slash bear but obviously jesse being able to smack that turret down and just start shooting your turret directly and have the shots fly all over your opponents is so ridiculously good and you're going to find yourself picking up some crazy wins now for me, I do have a couple of other favorite brawlers to play in this mode. I love playing Shelly and Frank to try to get some crazy stun combinations done against some brawlers. I don't know if you guys have ever played against like a five-man Frank team that just continually supers over and over and over again and destroys the team. But overall for us, I'm super stoked to get in with Jesse. Now let's go and hop into match number one right now. Now we're going to start off not as the big brawler and it will be Shelly as the big brawler who's actually a really not so great big brawler. Honestly, my goal whenever I get into this mode is to kill the big brawler before two minutes is up. So let's see if we can get that Done right now and given that Shelly isn't always the uh, the best brawler to kick things off with I think we're in a pretty good spot and uh, let's just go ahead and get it going now Jesse with her super long range inside of this mode does super well at taking that boss out looks like we've got a bull running on forward to be able to take out that Shelly just gonna continue to pep pepper the Shelly from range and as soon as we get our turret available we can just place that down and really put this Shelly in a corner and it looks like we're in a pretty amazing spot right now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the turret in before eventually we actually end up getting smacked down but my turret actually ended up doing so much work against that Shelly and 38 seconds in we are one third of the way through the Shelly this is going a little bit slower than I would have anticipated but we're still looking fine and especially once we get our supers available we're gonna be in a really nice spot all right a couple more shots gonna land onto that Shelly our Shelly's gonna end up supering their Shelly let's get our turret and everything else ready right now we're only a couple of shots away bull going in this Shelly's gonna go ahead and start running forward I'm gonna let my turret get a couple of ticks and waste Shelly's ammo looks like we're still in a really nice spot with a minute and five seconds into this and we still are on point for that two minute kill time that we're really looking for right now honestly this Shelly's playing pretty well to be able to do this to not die like before a minute and 30 seconds of Shelly is pretty nice I'm just gonna continue spamming shots looks like we're gonna be a little bit and in in inaccurate here and there but making our way on through I'm actually gonna throw our turret down here and start bouncing some shots off our turret on the Shelly she's gonna keep on just running on through and we'll finally die before eventually my team does catch up to her and a minute and 35 seconds in hopefully we're gonna be able to kill the Shelly in just a moment and 139 on the clock will be GG well played and that's a pretty nice reward getting 139 on the clock against a Shelly not so bad at all and that will give us 440 times two with those multipliers let's go and hop into battle number two right now and see if we're gonna come out as the big boss so hopping into match number two we are the big boss inside of this mode and guys I'm about to show you why Jesse is an absolute monster and show you really how to put in some work and make sure that your opponents are, are not having too much fun. All right, kicking this one off. They're gonna make their way towards the center right here. I'm gonna start bouncing my shots in a moment, guys. Let's make sure we play this a little bit safer. We don't wanna be spamming too much of our ammo right now, but take a look as we go in on this Primo. I'm gonna go and play our very first turret. We took a lot of damage to kick this one off so far, but this is where we start getting some serious rewards because our turret is down. We can continue bouncing on forward, and this is where Jesse makes some serious moves. All right, I can start healing this turret a little bit here and there. Leon's gonna get up close and personal. Finally, my turret's to lock onto him we're gonna start bouncing against this poco and this leon and this is where you can see where jesse has an insane amount of success not only can we just continually bounce our shots but once we get another turret up right here it's gonna be super easy to keep these turrets going and I can just continually fire off our own turret and uh, make sure that we're in an amazing spot. Now, their, uh, their Jesse actually did a pretty good job in getting this turret down uh, to put in some work against us because she can just bounce her shots off the turret. But already we're a minute into the game. We have well over 50% HP. And usually the goal for me as uh, Jesse is to try to get, um, what is it? I try to get like three minutes if possible so far not playing the best one for us right now but we can continue putting in some work right here another turret gonna go down in just a moment but we're still sitting pretty and i'm just gonna continue hanging out away from our opponents all right leon's gonna run through continuing to bounce our shots their jesse has honestly been the most effective brawler for them in trying to take us out she just continually bounces shots against our turret but we can start healing up our turret just a little bit more jesse's gonna start sneaking around on this end before eventually we'll be able to get close to taking her out shelly's gonna go in once again guys but that's just gonna let me start doing some circles onto this leon 
on and uh, finally killing their Jesse. We're a minute and 40 seconds in and we still have 70,000 HP that our opponents have to go through. This is a really solid start to us. I'm going to continually bounce some more shots right here against this Poco. You can see how miserable of a time the Shelly is having, honestly. I'm going to keep running in onto this Leon. Should be fine. Should be fine. Jesse's going to run on through and I'm just going to go ahead and drop another turret down right now. That should be A-OK. -okay. I'm going to try to stay away from our turret so Jesse can't bounce her shots onto me. But let's go and run away from the Shelly right now. Back our way up. And guys, 2 minutes and 10 seconds in. And honestly, if I played this one a little bit better against this Jesse, I probably wouldn't would have been able to get 3 minutes. But I did get hit by that Jesse just a little bit too much to kick this one off. So we're going to probably not be able to get that big, fat 3-minute win that we want. 2 minutes and 25 seconds into the clock, guys. Coming down to the wire right now, Primo's going to go ahead and run on through. I'm going to throw down one more turret to see if we can pull this off, and this is actually looking pretty good for us. Two minutes and 40 seconds in, and we're about to get some serious reward right now, given that their team really is uh, far away from taking us out. All right, a couple more shots going on through. Leon's going in. This is the point where we sort of just run away and try to make our way to three minutes if possible. We're so close to getting it done right now, but unfortunately, two minutes and 55 seconds, 54 seconds will be be the time but guys that's still a massive amount of time for being a, a big boss inside of this mode and that's going to be 500 tokens for picking up uh that win really nicely done honestly i actually didn't play it that great and we still got two minutes and 54 seconds using jesse absolutely ridiculous let's go and get into match number three right now and see if we can do even better and try to destroy everyone so hopping into match number three right now we're actually going against a crow as a big brawler i uh I don't even know how Crow's going to do inside of this mode. Seems pretty interesting. Those poison shots are probably going to do an insane amount of damage. So let's just start running our way through right now. See if we can find this Crow. And uh, finally, Crow's going to peek on out. And let's see what type of damage is going to get done. Now, already, this Crow is taking some huge shots from our Shelly, who is just repeatedly supering this Crow over and over and over again. Let's go and make our way through. Crow probably going to super onto our face sometime soon, so I'm going to be a little bit scared. Crow's finally going to take us out right as we get our super. But on the very first push of the game, we We've already taken Crow to one third down as far as HP goes, and we're looking in a really good spot. All right, let's see if we can group up together as a team and make this next push even better. I'm going to throw our turret down just to see if maybe this can be like a little bit of a distraction point for this Crow. Shelly's going to run on through. Shelly just so debilitating as our turret is going absolutely ham right now. Look at that turret put in so much work. Jesse shot still flying on down as the Crow takes us out, and only a minute into this match, guys, this Crow is having a very bad day. Even as we lag out inside of this one, we should be able to pick up the easy win. And let's just pretend that that was 59 seconds on the dot and that was GG, well played. Wow, I think Crow might have actually cut our internet connection because of how fast we were able to take him out right there. That was absurd. Did it give me a, yeah, one minute and 10 seconds in the end, which should have been an insane amount of uh, tickets. I guess we could probably look back and see how many tokens we won. Let's go and get into match number four right now and see if we can cap this out strong. So hopping into our very final battle right now, guys, we've got another Shelly locked and loaded towards the center. Honestly, I feel like everyone loves playing Shelly because she's so good at killing that big boss. But once you get to be Shelly as the big boss, things tend to be much less fun. All right, already we're going to start blasting down the Shelly just a bit. The Nita's going to start running in. We have a really dirty composition with the double Nita plus the double Jesse plus our own Shelly who's going to put in so much work. Let's start backing up right now. This Shelly's actually doing a nice job of sort of diving and uh, ducking around all of our shots. I'm going to keep running on through another Shelly super is going to be available but we finally have our turret to kick this one off and we've still already done 30 percent hp in the first 30 seconds you can see the difference between when i was playing nita and when these guys have been playing these other brawlers nita or when i was playing jesse and these guys are playing these other brawlers it's just so hard to control the map unless you have that crazy ricochet that jesse does and that's just what we're going to do right now turret going to go down towards the very top another jesse turret coming down right here look at all of these brawlers running in and my turret is getting so much value against this shelly look at that 336 over and over and over again and even though Jesse isn't seen as the best single target uh, damage dealing brawler in the entire game, even if you don't get her as the big boss, you still get so much work done whenever you try to throw down. Now, my first turret is still available right now. I have no clue what's actually happening. Let's throw another turret down just for good measure. Shelly's going to continue to run on in. This Shelly is completely dead to rights right now. One or two more shots should be able to finish this off. 
126 on the clock gg well played another fat stack of tokens for going in right there guys jesse by far and away the best big boss baller inside of the entire game big boss baller big boss brawler big baller brand inside of the entire game guys that's gonna be gg for another set of 500 tokens including the level up which we're gonna get 20 tokens for right there if you guys want to pick up some easy tickets and easy tokens inside of uh inside of this mode make sure you guys are using jesse or using nita who honestly gets an honorable mention as one of the best brawlers to play inside of this game you can have fun playing so many different brawlers but if you want to maximize the use of your tickets to get those tokens to open up those boxes get those legendaries and get all those brawlers by far and away the best brawler to play is jesse and make sure you use her to pick up some easy wins that's gonna do for this video today hope you enjoyed this episode of jesse destroying everything in sight let me know if you've passed three minutes as jesse as the big boss inside of the comment section below but until next time